and I'm excited for this set as well. Yeah. Uh, jumping into it, starting Yoshi's. Um, kind of interesting pick because uh, Falcon wouldn't really like the stage against either of the spaces, um, but Luigi kind of likes the mm, mm, movement options he gets on this stage. Yeah. Um, probably looking for so what both with the Falcon and Luigi team it really oh <laughs> another misfire uh, that helps what they really want are these low, low percent kills on uh, on the spaces because yeah. uh, otherwise uh, you know against both these characters uh, Fox and Falco can really control the neutral uh, really well I um, mean yeah. double specifically just locking down the other team uh, so we got a stock lead here for uh, blue team yeah but Imdur at high percent um, one strong hit should seal that up um, both Luigi and Falcon have very strong aerials so I'm um, really just getting any loose hit can uh, end the stock for yeah. the other team but uh, yeah Fox the Fox there is just kind of controlling space pretty well here just keeping weak yeah. in and out yeah giant. definitely Banana Sex uh, game plan and doubles a lot it seems to be just uh, a lot of uh, full hops to, uh, to take space and then kind of relying on his teammate to kind of cover him uh, if if he whiffs. Yeah. A good edge guard from Banana Sack yeah, there. Now they're, uh, they're, they're up two stocks. Now. They, they've been getting these, you know, getting the kill on one and then getting the other like right after. SD from Mad Tyro at 0%. That is not what you want to see. Yeah. Nice little team combo. Gets a reverse fair though, not able to continue it, but. If they can get some gimps on uh, on Falco here, that uh, it, it's not it's not un undoable for him. Yeah. Not quite out of the. Ooh. He got yeah. the reverse. There, he was getting comboed off the top and then just hit him, killed him, kill him instead. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Chinchel almost snagged the ledge from him there. Yes. Love you, Mason. Mason bring me some goldfish crackers. Oh. What a TO. Yeah. The shield of the F smash. Gonna keep him. Ooh. Mason throwing the hat on backwards. <laughs> That's what I like to see. All right. All right, this game's all but over. Uh, just yeah. honestly, they can play really safe. Just clean it up here. Any, any hit will convert to a kill or an edge guard situation, honestly. Yeah. So there it is. I feel like Dreamland's probably the most likely counter pick here. Dreamland would be a good choice. Dreamland would be a good choice. Um, uh, I could see, yeah, honestly, Dreamland or the, the interesting team dynamic between Falcon and Luigi is they don't really like the same stages as each yeah. other. Yeah. Um, because Luigi would like to go somewhere maybe like Fountain. Uh, Falcon would like to go maybe Stadium. Um, but. Yeah, we'll see where they go. Oh, FD. FD. I was thinking about this pick as well. Um, some Falcons don't mind this, and Luigi definitely would like this stage against both Fox and Falco. So, yeah. um, as long as they can mitigate um, how much damage Falcon's taking uh, and able to interrupt, you know, combos on each other, uh, it should be fine. Uh -huh. This is something I saw. So on the on the way here, because I just got here recently, I was watching uh, watching the stream, and I can't remember who they were playing against. But when I was watching Ember and Banana Sack. Uh, Andrew is just doing a really good job on FD in particular of shooting high lasers to interrupt the other team. And he'd shoot them right over Banana Sack's head. So Banana yeah. Sack would go in, be the aggressor, um, and then Andrew would hang back, shoot these high lasers over Banana Sack's head to interrupt the other team. Yeah. It almost kind of gave Banana Sack a Falco laser uh, to, to kind of cover his approach. Mm -hmm. Not, Not quite, quite going to kill that Shiryu. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah, that's a hard place to be. Um, both Fox and Falco's back ears cover so much space there. That oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Luigi's going to live a while. Oh, gets another misfire, but he's ready for it. Yeah, Matt Tyra, the king of misfires for sure. Yeah. Oh. Alright, gets a combo started. Yeah, B-Sec comes in, comes down off the respawn platform and interrupts it. 
Oh, unfortunate. Kind of gets uh, he, he gets hit by something there. Um, he was trying to do some yeah, reverse was, lasers I, or something. I think he was. Uh, I think he was trying to mash out of Falcon's grab, oh, and then okay, Falcon yeah. got hit hit by uh, Imder's laser, and so grab and he interrupted the grab. Off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt Tyro comboing his teammate and the opposing player, but yeah. this is, this stock count. Yeah, is pretty even. even. Um, I call this an even game. Ooh. Good angle from Banana Sack. Yeah. Uh, Matt Tyro's covering the straight up angle there. <laughs> yeah, another another misfire. misfire. <laughs> yeah, edge guarding in doubles is really interesting because, yeah. um, you know, your normal like kind of flow charts that you'd have against edge guarding uh, spaces in particular mm -hmm. don't work quite the same way because a lot of times those edge guards are fairly slow. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of characters' recoveries are buffed because you just don't have the time to set up the same flow charts that you would normally. Yeah. And that's kind of an example we saw a second ago where um, Mad Tyre just kind of had to cover one option, mm -hmm. um, but Banana Stick picked a, a different angle. Whereas if it was singles or something, uh, Mad Tyre probably would have had time to weave dash to ledge, grab ledge, and then uh, do something on the way up. But yeah. Yeah, and you play more of that like. Uh, mm -hmm. Reactionary rather than just having to go for a single. Even game. Uh, yeah. And if uh, Green Team can get the stock off from Banana Sack soon, which there it is, they actually take the lead. Yeah. But that up smash will put them. Yeah, so at this point, yeah. definitely uh, blue team favored. Oh. Falcon's about a couple hits from uh, being gone. Yeah. But Falco's also. That yeah, F smash? That Just cover ledge from Banana Sack there. Oh, gets the Sour Spot up smash. Interesting choice on that. Um, so she gets one Tyra. more chance here. Oh, tries to get the Gimp there, but... Wow, the Nair trading and... Uh, yeah. Or the Nair not even trading. Uh, Just beating it. Just beating the back air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. double up smash. Taking game two. Ender Banana Sack go up 2-0. Yeah. Man, Ender's got that, got that blanket. I think oh yeah, gotta stay warm. He's, he's comfy. Christian's a big comfy boy. Yeah. All right. Um, Got there. Assuming they pick a different stage here, I, I do think we'll see the Dreamland pick this time. Yes. And there it is. Here it is. That game was very doable. There were just a couple of sort of crucial moments that they weren't able to clean up the things they needed to do. Mm -hmm. Just taking a moment to comment on uh, all the players' fit. Mm -hmm. uh, Christian picking uh, quite a different outfit than he had on yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, opting not for the uh, uh, buff Mickey t-shirt. Obviously, that one already worn yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and uh, no pullover sweatshirt, but rather the quarter zip. Um, repping his school, Ball State University, I believe. Yes. Uh, Matt Tyro picking a, a pretty similar uh, outfit as yesterday. Yesterday he was uh, sporting the Super Nintendo T-shirt, yeah. but today uh, going up a generation uh, in consoles to the N64. Yeah. So uh, Chinchilla wearing a pretty similar outfit and Banana Sack as well. They both tend to keep it pretty simple. So. Yeah. One sec. Uh, no, even games right now. Um, but both green team players in uh, danger of getting. Uh, <laughs> Just hit by any strong hit into an edge guard situation. Christian should be able to, Ender should be able to clean this up on the left side, but misses and actually gets the weak reverse back air, but no jump what? from Falcon. Look at, look at him go. Luigi's just, he's just not gonna die. Dude, I think Luigi's so sick. Yeah. It's he's incredible. He's just so slippery. Yeah. Well, Luigi can be kind of lame, but Mad Tyro is definitely super sick. Yeah, no. For sure. Like the way, like his, what was it, like platform cancel nares? Dude, like that, that thing he does, like the, air, the aerial interrupt up air. It's not yeah. quite an aerial interrupt because he's not landing with no lag. It's like, yeah. uh, just, oh, nice. Gets the back air off the hit from his other teammate and able to yeah. recover. Yeah, honestly, Fox looking to 165. I mean, it is Dreamland, but still not what you want. Yeah. Um, looking at these team compositions, really, uh, the Falcon and Luigi team really needs to get a lot of low percent gimps um, to yeah. have a to have a chance here. And they just haven't really gotten any of those. I can't think of a game where they've gotten maybe more than maybe one uh, low percent gimp on yeah. one spaces. Uh, and finally, the F smash to seal that stock from Luigi. Yeah. He's kind of kept getting passed back. Like, mm -hmm. you try to land, you just get hit again, get Edgar situation on the other side of the stage, then you get knocked to the other one. Right. And it's just yeah, unless we see a pretty quick adaptation here from Green Team, uh, getting some more low percent kills, I uh, 
don't quite see this game going any other way than, yeah. the, than the previous two. Alright. That being said, if they can get some quick gimps on the Fox here, uh, Christian is having to take his first stock from Banana Sack. Banana Sack stock, stock taking, though, definitely uh, hanging back a little bit more this game. Um, All right. But, but, I mean, Green Team actually takes the lead out yeah. of nowhere. Got the um, la a last stock, too. And almost. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what I said. They were able to get kind of an early kill on the Falco. Um, and oh, good reverse up beat yeah. from Chinchilla. Able to space around the down smash. Okay. Matt Tower misses that yeah. back air, but both blue team uh, characters in danger of one strong oh. hit sending him off. Oh, gets burned, unfortunate. Yeah. That that should be it for be... both of them. Easy yeah. edge guard here. Falcon just yeah. Yeah. And now we've got. They really picked it up at the end of that last oh, game. Oh yeah. Uh, Definitely got those uh, early percent kills and uh, some team combos in there that really racked up the damage on both the players and yeah. gave them the chance to uh, happen. Um, give them the chance to uh, take that game. Don't see them unless they're. All right, you're just looking for some keys. Yeah. All right, so we got game four here. Um, relatively even game right now. R like I said right here, you can see Christian going back to that uh, game plan that he was utilizing games one and two that worked so well, of just shooting lasers over Banana Sack's approaches. Um, and both Falcon and Luigi don't like dealing with lasers, lasers a lot. Um, and in doubles in particular, they're even harder to yeah. uncover. You see right there an invisible ceiling glitch from Luigi, saving him from that up smash. Yeah. Silly. All right. Christian's just gonna... He's, he's stayed aerial, waited for his teammate to get back. And now, more lasers. Sometimes, I sometimes do a, do a, just do a normal standing laser, just let you know. He doesn't care. He's not afraid. Alright. Yeah, Luigi, 159. Yeah, he's in an interesting, uh, interesting percent because uh, yeah. really nothing's going to combo at this point, but a strong hit will do it. Yeah. Um, so I was going to say you have to get that strong hit once once a yeah. floaty kind of gets that percent, um, just a strong back air or something, and then he found it with a trade. But interesting. All right. Yeah. Got. Um, like unfortunately for the green team, Tyro's been getting most of like the. Like the kills, he's it feel it feels a little like he's been doing a lot of, a lot of work. But like oh no jump! Ch say Chinchilla's been doing pretty pretty decently and keeping he's keeping himself uh, in the positions that he needs to be. Mm -hmm. uh, you know every you know it seems like when he's get gets that grab and then Tyro can come in and get like the Shoryuken or like the Nair, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but. Ooh, but then Tyro taking out his partner there. Okay. Yeah, Missing the DI throw. and Luigi's yeah, throw there. Throw down there. Yeah. Luigi's throws really shouldn't ever combo, yeah. but yeah. Um, if you miss the DI, they can be pretty brutal. Fortunately, low percent kill um, on that Tyro there, but it's tough yeah. to cushion cleaning up the edge guard. Uh, something that I've seen Tyro do a few times is use Luigi's back throw um, in opportunities when they're just in center stage, yeah. um, where. Uh, both Luigi and Mario's back there, they kind of fling uh, the other character around them, and it puts up a hitbox that kind of pushes the teammate away if they're trying to save it all. No jump yeah. from Chinchilla. That and should be that's it. Be, yeah. yeah. Matt Tyro left alone. Doable, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, at the percent that both uh, Fox and Falco are at, his aerials actually won't be sending him that far, so this is a pretty rough situation. Yeah. He uses that back throw again, but it actually trades with uh, down air, I think. The hitbox oh, of the throw. One more solid hit should clean it up. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. 3 1. Another 3 1. Good stuff to uh, Imadir and Banana Sack. Yeah. And now they're going to be, go they'll be going on to Losers Finals to fight Toast. Hefty Pecker Todd, uh, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. Hefty Pecker Todd.
great set. Yeah.